Hey folks, Sean from the Outlaw Speed Shop. And uh, here's the newest little project I got going on. Uh, you saw the last video, did a, a review of the Mobius uh, Nova kits. And I really love the, the 64 hardtop. The uh, 65 coupe, not quite as much. So, guess what we did? We got the old Dremel out. And uh, we're going to make a little... Uh, I, I'm going off of kind of like the mid-70s. Um, like the, the Flying 11 when they went to the Camaro body. And I'm not sure what year, somewhere early to mid 70s. They'd been running coupe bodies for ever and ever. You know, this is a Northeast style uh, modified. And always liked that car. Always uh, remember seeing it on the cover of stock, um, stock car racing magazine back in the day when I was a kid. So I've always liked that car. And so that's kind of my uh, starting point, is that style. Now, um, also, um, a while back on YouTube, I found an interview with the guy that used to own those cars, and I don't know his name. But anyway, they showed some old pictures of when uh, when they were building one and this was probably more you know i'm gonna say mid to late 60s maybe even earlier but you know somewhere in there anyway they had some old black and white pictures of uh them in the process of uh building a car um had a quick change rear end in it with it's hard to tell the kind of uh all the kind of uh linkages and shocks and springs and uh, watch linkage and every other damn thing that was on the back so i'm just going to stick with the standard leaf springs with the quick change but on the front was very interesting and i did find a good picture of this and I'll try to, when I post a video, it'll, it'll be on the on the front part, which means when you're watching this, you've already seen it. So what they did, let me get my little pointer here, is, and this, this is the right kind of suspension for that. So this one has, um, you know, has the coilover shocks. It goes right down to the top of the Jobby D right here. But what they did was I'm not exactly sure what that bottom A-frame was. It might have been a Mopar uh, lower A-frame because they had a torsion bar that went from here back here. It looked like it was pretty short, too. I mean, maybe this far back and it had this little torsion bar and it had a thing on the side of the frame that mounted that, uh, you know, mounted the, that held it. And, you know, on the torsion bar, somewhere in here, there's a bolt that when you run that bolt in or out, it tightens or loosens the torsion bar. And that's how you adjust it. So, it kind of the same thing as if you had a coil spring with a jack bolt. Kind of the same kind of thing. But I always thought that was kind of cool. And I always wanted to kind of build that. So, that's kind of what I'm going for. I'm going to try to work on something there. And you can see this is your standard. I got one sitting right over here. This is my one that I got put together just that I check different bodies on and stuff just to see whatever. Um, so that's kind of the idea. Um, going to have a small block, um, small block Chevy in here. And... Um, Mainly because I have quite the collection of small block Chevy headers. And if I could find my little grabber. So I have the 180 degree type that come up both and then go over the back and out the side. And then I have, this is kind of a newer late model 
kind of header that might work. I've got this little guy here, possibly might work. Um, I think this one over here is even a little bit, no, that's the wrong side. This guy here, uh, possibly, depending on where everything's gonna sit. And then I got these Tri-555-57 headers that possibly, they look like probably the best candidate depending on where the, because I think the engine's going to be right about here. So, um, at this point, really the only thing that I think is going to be, um, I don't think it's going to be an issue, but it's going to be, let me line this up so you can see where the firewall is going to go all the way back there, which is, that's just where the, that's just, oh, that's just the, that's just where the um, stock floor pan or the floor pan for this kit is. I cut the pieces that went up out and it looks like it's pretty good. So hopefully, um, hopefully I'll get a little farther on this and then I'll do another video and see. Um, so probably going to be, going to have to cut out the rest of this part here all the way up to the hood um and like i say i haven't even mocked up an engine yet to 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 put in there i just started on this yesterday so um um only and the other thing all i had to do i did shorten the chassis by three sixteenths of an inch and i cut it right behind actually if you look at this one I cut it right behind this little, I cut it right here, right in front of that thing. And I took 3 16 of an inch out. And then when I put it back together, I laid a piece of uh, this little strip here down into the little groove right there and glued it all together and then cleaned it all up. And I decided to go ahead and put this cap on the top of the frame because I'm not sure which part of that's going to be exposed and I don't want that uh, open part exposed. So I went ahead and capped the top and then I put it, made this little piece here, which is going to hold up the, which is going to hold up the rear thing here. And that part fits really nice to the back of the car. So I'm not a hundred percent sure how all this is going to go together. That's why they call it scratch building. Because we're just going to kind of, we're starting from scratch and we're just kind of going to see where it's going to kind of go. Um, so that's, uh, that's uh, you know, and again, probably tires somewhat like, somewhat like so. You know, that's the same ones I had on the, uh, those are the same as on the, the 57 Fords I just finished up. So maybe some of these. And uh, anyway. That's uh that's where we're going today with this. And um so um next step is to get the get an engine put together, mocked up so I can see where everything's going to go and like I, I cut this out because it's going to have to move forward. So we'll reposition this once we figure out where it goes. Um, anyway, I know this is an old, uh, you know, the chassis may not be exact for, you know, whatever, but, uh, I like to use these. I got a bunch of them for under 20 bucks a piece. And, um, I've been selling these, the wheels and tires out of these things for, um, well, basically 10 bucks. It's 15 bucks, but five dollars is shipping so i've been selling these tires and wheels for for uh you know and i've sold i don't know five six seven sets of those because i i don't you know i uh, those are good tires and all but i like to use my i like to use my resin tires most of most of the time uh, it gives me a little more uh you know uh what's it um different choices a lot more choices so anyway like I say, it's always been a really cool kit. 
And from what I could see, basically, you know, the roll bar is kind of the same, kind of they were pretty basic back then. Um, basically, they had four sidebars on this side and two sidebars on the, on the, on the other side. Um, so, you know, we'll just kind of start using whatever we can use for the, you know, if we can use this to start with for the, depending on how it fits, depending how it fits into the body there and everything. But by looking at uh, this, probably going to be pretty close because the body will all go down all the way um, when this is, uh, anyway, the body to the frame is going to be right there. The bottom of the frame and the bottom of the body will be, um, you know, will be right there. Um, a couple other, well, I guess that's about it for now. So, uh, anyway, if anybody, if you ever need any bodies or modified bodies or tires, I've got, I don't know, a, 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 at least a dozen or more, the Vegas, the Coupes, the Pinos, a bunch of stuff, anyway, and, and more of those tires. So, if anybody's interested, just give, send me, you know, drop a note, I'll hook you up. Um, so, that's it today. I just wanted to give you guys kind of a start. Uh, what what the idea is and uh, I needed to get back to building a little little more something that I like a little bit more I mean I like doing those Fords those things were the 57 Fords those things were really uh, was a lot of fun but uh, um, this looks like it's going to be a lot of fun too uh, a little more a little, you know I like to have a little creativity and try some you know try some new things and anyway, even by looking at the, this frame here, even if I wanted to go with, I could go with the, the, the coil springs in the front just as easy, you know, whack the radiator out of there and, and uh, you know, move it forward. Because, uh, did I already? No. Because that's where the motor mounts are stock and they usually have to go a little bit forward from there. Um, so yeah, I could do that too. You know, I could just as easily cut that out and put those on there too. But I kind of thought I might want to try that uh, that coil spring thing just for the just because. Okay, folks, that's it for today. And uh, hopefully, I should be posting more now that I'm not that things around here are, are uh, it's still crazy. Like I say, I got family members that are in serious trouble. I've got a friend that's in trouble. I got an old cat that who knows when, how long he's going to last. So we just go day to day and I've been uh, piddling with my garden a little bit and trying to get back to the bench. So I'll catch y'all later. Uh, remember to hit the like button, subscribe, uh, comment below, all that stuff. And I hope I tried to get this a little closer to get a little bit better view and like I say if if I'm not in the frame or everything's not perfect sorry about that I'm doing the best I can catch y'all later